Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, everyone. Welcome back to the VVU. Wait, you know what? We're gonna make a change. We were called the VVU. It's been we've been on hiatus for a little bit. You know, we've had some changes on our team. I think we're gonna change the name from the VVU to the GVU, the GEOS video update. We're gonna be bringing you guys way more content in regards to Azure, AWS, Google, Apex, VX Rail. OpenShift, you pretty much name it. We're gonna we're gonna be bringing you updates from from the GVU now. So this is gonna be a GVU episode number one. I'm joined today with two special guests. Uh, we have Ben and Una. I'll let those guys introduce themselves here in a minute. Of course, I'm Curtis Edwards. I am part of the Geos team. I work for Dell. Uh, as you can't tell from the background, you can probably tell from my shirt. You know, I work for Dell. Um, ben, Una, can you guys give a brief int introduction, please? Yeah, so I, I'm Una O'Herlihy. I joined the Geos team a little over 18 months ago. Um, my focus was on VX Rail up until the end of last year, and now we're focusing in on multi-cloud as well. Awesome. Ben? Well, yeah, my name is Ben Meyer. I'm also part of the Geos team based out of Dubai, and same as my colleagues focusing on VX Rail and the new multi-cloud solutions from there. Awesome. So you're, you're based in Dubai. Una, you didn't say where you were. I mean, I, I'm Cork. sure they can tell from your name. Yes, <laughs> um, but you know, oh, yeah, Cork and Ireland. Cork and Ireland. All right. Yeah. So, as as I mentioned, right, this is a continuation of the VVU. I think we were on up, up to episode number ten. So, those that have been following us again, apologize for the hiatus. Welcome back. Please, of course, hit the like button, subscribe. You know, hitting the like button helps the algorithm of 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 YouTube populate this to the top and put it into people's feeds. So today we have a very broad and big announcement, right? We are going, we have released yesterday uh, VxRail 70450 and 70450 has a bunch of noticeable, not noticeable, notable um, uh, items that are part of it, such as dynamic apps on, which we're gonna talk about. We're gonna talk about networking and um, doing lags with the VxRail VD VDS bunch of LCM enhancements. So, I mean, we cannot have an update without having LCM enhancements. So we're going to touch on a couple of those. And probably lastly, we'll close it out with satellite nodes and what uh, uh, what does 70450 bring to the satellite node environment. So without further ado, you know, since you guys are new to this, there is no calling on anybody. Just jump in. We're going to just talk to the talk to whoever's listening. We got people listening sure. from all over the world. We got customers, partners, internal folks. So please, you know, of course we can't, we don't sure. talk about so much, right? <laughs> okay. Let me maybe make a start and pick on the dynamic apps on feature that was sure. released as, as part of this uh, 450 release. So we saw a lot of customers that use dynamic nodes together with PowerStore. Um, it's a great combination and we have a lot of interest from customers and what we did in this release is to bring this experience closer together and even take it to the next level. So now with this VX Ray release, you can not only see the Power Store code version, but we can also do the LCM directly from VX Ray Manager. So this means upgrading your Power Store code level will be possible directly from vCenter via VX Ray Manager. So currently this is like a two-phase approach. So the VX Rail LCM is one upgrade, and then there's another upgrade step, which is for the for Power Store. <clears throat> Awesome. So you said a couple quick, couple good things in there, right? So now within VxRail Manager, you can see the PowerStore code version. So that's that's right. huge. Then you can also now upgrade the PowerStore as part of it. That's huge. Right. We were we were the the whole dynamic apps on. We were doing pretty much something similar before because we had the ability to use dynamic nodes with PowerStore. We just did not have the ability to lifecycle the PowerStore. That was on the customer to do. But now, right, as you said, with the integration of the VSI plugin and being able to, right. to do the LCM of the power store, you now have a centralized place to manage both VX Rail and manage the power store. That's 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 awesome. I'm glad we were able to come out with that. Now, of course, both power stores or just one power store. If a customer already has power store, you know, what's their options there? Yeah, so currently it is targeted as um, customers who use dynamic nodes with power store. Um, so it is limited to, to those customers, not for customers who have VX Rail and hook it up to, to PowerStore, if this makes sense. Got it. Got it. Okay. So dynamic apps on. 
check that box. That's a, that's a big release, right? And I think that's I think that's the focal release, the focal point right. of, of the release. Mm-hmm. Um, how about we talk about some LCM LCM enhancements? Una, you want to take yeah. that? Yeah, sure. So we're going to see a lot of upgrade planning enhancements with this version or version release. We're going to have some more transparency on the compliance support side of things. So we're going to see things on the current and desired state of your cluster being included in the compliance report. Things as well along the current and target ESXi version. Okay, that wasn't being called out or fully previously. Mm. Um, the other one there as well really is the new update advisor report. Okay, so this is basically a revamped VxRail advisory report. But now it's going to include the output of the pre-check. Okay, so all the remediation tasks that you need to complete before your upgrade, that's going to be included in there. Uh, you're going to be able to run the advisor report. It's going to be run anyway daily every day as default, but you'd also be able to schedule it and also do it on an ad hoc basis. Um, the other one really there would be around the pre-checks that I just spoke about. And we're going to be ingesting the latest VX Verify scripts into the pre-check um, going forward. So you're going to get those latest, all the remediation tasks included there. Um, before it could be a few weeks old. Okay, so we might capture everything, but now it's going to be the latest uh, script being ingested. Awesome. Um, probably another, another good one that we can add there from the LCM perspective is the ability to do smart bundles. So those customers that were using cloud IQ in the past or using cloud IQ today, I should say, they have the ability to create a smaller bundle than the entire composite bundle. Because today the entire composite bundle is for all, the, big. all the nodes, all the versions, all the drivers, et cetera. And now you may be running just a, an E series or a V series or a P series, and you don't need or want to take the time to download the entirety of the bundle. So you now have the ability at 70450 to create a smart bundle, thereby creating a manifest of what you currently have installed. That manifest will get compared to uh, the, the, the install package and the differences, the deltas will be packaged together and then sent down to your to your environment so therefore you can have a much faster download process much faster um uh process for those customers that have limited bandwidth to be yeah. able to download and install their updates now of course for this to work you got to have internet connectivity right so those dark sites i'm sorry you know, yeah, but really, still, it's quite cool. I think for robot yeah. sites where you maybe have less bandwidth, this really helps to cut down the size of the bundle. Yeah, yeah. Think of think of the many edge customers that don't mm-hmm. don't really have the high the high bandwidth, right? So, <clears throat> excuse me, they have the ability now to to expedite that process. Uh, probably another one one additional one I think I will add there is the automated backups of the vCenter and the VXL manager. So. In the past, whenever a customer would go to solve and be able to create their procedure to do an upgrade, one of the items was create a backup of Mm -hmm. VxRail Manager and create a backup of vCenter in case anything were to go sideways or something were to fail, then support had, had a way to faster remediate the environment. Now with 70450, that process is automated. No, it's no longer a manual process. So when a, when an LCM is initiated, it's done automatically behind the scenes and the customer gets to choose a location of a secure FTP site to be able to put those components. So that's a, that's a big piece as well. So we're just, we're just cranking along here, right? So yeah. um, let me see, what else, what else do we have? Yeah, maybe one item that I, I would think is also cool for, for customers who run AI or ML workload or VDI. Um, now we have the integration in the VxRail physical view. So you can now see your mm-hmm. NVIDIA GPUs oh, there. Good point, good point. And as well, if you do uh, LCM upgrade, you can use the, the UI or the API to install those NVIDIA VIPs directly as part of the upgrade. So you don't need to have like a second reboot or something. All right, but we were yes. able to do that before. We were able to do NSXT before with, oh, you know what? It's We were able to do it with VLCM before. Right. Now, this yeah. gives you the ability to do it with the legacy without the need of VLCM. So now you can right. do the NVIDIA and the NSXT without having to lock yourself in or it, without having to turn on VLCM. So that's 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 huge. That's right. awesome. All right. So we're just we're just cranking along here, right? This is going to be a, a relatively short video for this 
new GVU episode number one <laughs> with many more to come. So, you know, one of the things uh, I, I know both both Ben and you, Una, you both have been creating and producing blogs. Uh, mm -hmm. Have you blogged either one of you guys? I, I think you both have, but I'm going to give you an opportunity here. Have either one of you guys blogged on any of these topics yet? Yes, I uh, released a blog yesterday on the Update Advisor report. So um, all just listing all those features, giving screenshots in there as well around the Update Advisor report, compliance report and everything else you kind of want to see there. Awesome. Ben, you? Good. Yeah, I published a blog post on the dynamic apps on uh, with VxWave. So just to showcase the integration from VxWave Dynamic Notes with PowerStore and as well to showcase a bit how it works to do the, the actual upgrade of PowerStore. So there's some screenshots on the step-by-step -step process on how to upgrade PowerStore from VxRail Manager. Awesome. And you have you have more blogs in the works, right? And, and yeah, sure. Because there's like a, as you mentioned initially in the video, it's it's like a huge release. So we're, we're planning to release a few blog posts on, on the new features. Yeah. All right. And our and our website for, for those that want to be able to get to the blogs, do you guys know it off the top of your head? Yeah, we will put the, the links in the description of the video so everyone Perfect. can just click and, uh, and go to there. All right. So... Good plug. Lastly, let's wrap this up. Bring it home. It's Satellite be notes, fun. maybe. Satellite notes. Last call out. Yes. Yeah. So, uh, in previous uh, versions of for satellite notes, VS World releases, you could only leverage a our customer managed fee center. Okay. So, in our external managed fee center, now that's switched around. So, you can also support the VS World managed VMware fee center for that. No. Oh, so, that's, that's pretty straightforward. I mean, you know, it was mm -hmm. kind of unfortunate for those customers that, you know, have all these satellite locations and they go and they buy a singular node and then they have their VX rail and then they're being told, guess what? You got to buy another node or something else to manage this whole thing from a vCenter perspective. So that's a nice, nice uh, addition nice from touch. our product management yeah. team there to say, you know what, you, we can now use the VX rail managed vCenter to manage all these satellite nodes, thereby reducing the cost and the complexity for those customers. And then of course, since it's a VX rail managed vCenter, we take care of the life cycle as part of that. So it becomes a, a, a clean, complete solution. Mm -hmm. So with that, uh, I'd like to thank our audience. I'd like to thank you guys. Thanks, Ben, Una. Um, hopefully this wasn't too bad for your first time. Uh, hopefully you guys will be joining me in the future episodes and where we will talk about a variety of topics and of course, uh, plug anything and all things from the GEO's perspective. We will also be having special guests. If you guys listening, watching, et cetera, want to have a special guest or a special topic or something that you want us to kind of focus on, please be sure to drop it in the comments below and we'll address those in our upcoming videos. Again, thank you guys for your time. You guys enjoy the rest of your day. Take care, everybody. Thank you. We're stop. We're stop. <laughs> Una bounced. Una, Una like, left already. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.